Hi, Amy. This is a really um, dynamic image. I'm really enjoying um, what you've come up with, and you've been using a lot of different techniques on this, which I really appreciate. Um, the only issue that I'm noticing with it, and I'm not sure where you got this image. I don't see how you made it necessarily, although I really like the cracks and the shattered look of the face, um, which I'm guessing is your face, but I'm not, I'm not seeing the layers on, on how you put this together. So that's, it would be nice if I could see those. Plus one thing about this is that if we go to image, image size, you can see that this is really pretty small. It's six by six by 72. We want this to be, so we want to set up our document like this, file new, we want eight and a half by 11 or um, 11 by eight and a half. It just kind of depends on, you might maybe want this more of this type of orientation with, with it being 11 wide by eight tall. Resolution of 300, color mode, uh, CMYK, and then transparent background contents, and then go ahead and create that. Then you would bring in an image of yourself, place embedded, um, you know, maybe I have this image of myself that I want to bring in. Let's pretend this is you. So maybe you're working on that cracked effect over your face. Um, we could do a, a zoom out here. You'd, I, this would work better if I had an actual um, close-up of my face. Because my, my face is going to get distorted the more I zoom in. But if I do something like that... And then I zoom in on that, and then we bring in, maybe we'll find cracks in the sidewalk. If we go to Unsplash, or maybe Pexels, I'm not sure which one would be better to look at, but I want to find a high-res image, so cracks in mud, maybe. Oh, yeah. This one might be nice because it's really high contrast, so let's go ahead and download that. This was on Pexels. This particular image is probably going to work pretty well because of the contrast in it. We do a file place, embedded. We can bring that in from our downloads, image from Pexels. And then we can change the blending mode on this, maybe to multiply. And that is working fairly decent. Um, and then we could, you know, if we want to get that, we want to maybe push return on our keyboard. And then go to layer mask. And we can paint in with the paintbrush, we want to load in, I believe, is it white? I don't know, maybe it wasn't black. Let me turn this out of the way up here. Yeah. So, and then we can kind of paint this out. It's almost like erasing it, but we used a layer mask. And I'm using a black brush. I'm on the paintbrush tool. Double click here if you need to, to, to load. And just bring it down to the corner here to get black and then push OK. So if you don't have black, you can double click and load black in, push OK. And just paint. And we can change the size of this. We can change the hardness. The hardness at 100 would probably work pretty well, you know, a little bit larger. And maybe just like paint away parts of the cracks. And we just want it over the face, maybe. Um, so that's something to try. And once you get that kind of erased in a way, we're using, we're not quite erasing it, but we are, I don't know. I have to kind of decide how you want to go about doing that, but my hair is kind of, just want to go around the face. So that's one way of, of kind of doing it. Of course, it's way too strong. We could turn down the opacity quite a bit on that. That's one way of doing it. I mean, there's more than one way of doing it, for sure. But if you wanted to have it look like that, um, and you could even, you know, remove part of this, the hair and everything on this background. Um, you could use the lasso tool, maybe, and just draw a shape here. Oops. I'm on the background image of myself. I don't know if I... I'm doing a really quick job here, but... 
you know, maybe we want to get rid of this part of the image. We do a layer mask there, but then we want to go into select and mask in the properties panel and we can do invert. And we can refine this by, you know, maybe I don't want this extra stuff here. I'm going to make my brush bigger. I'm using the brackets on my keyboard to make my brush bigger. And you can just, you know, perfect this, obviously. I'm doing this very quickly. And then you could maybe bring in some shattered glass. Let me move this into the background, potentially. So, and we want to feather this probably if you're not, if you don't have um, these open, you might not see it unless these are open. Global refinements, we need to open that up and the feather is in there. We can feather out the edges on this, which looks pretty good. We have it on layer mask and go ahead and push OK. So now we have a layer mask and we could find an image of like maybe shattered glass. And then, you know, we see a good one. We could bring that in. Um, maybe like this. Download. And then bring that in. File, place, embedded. Bring that in. Place. And maybe just try to you know, position it as such that we want to use it just in the background maybe and put that underneath um, maybe something like that and we could even make this the opacity on this layer or maybe change the, um, maybe the opacity there. I don't know if that's looking good or not but we could do something like that. We could probably find a better image for the background, honestly, but maybe something like that um, to go along the lines of what you were doing because the one that you turned in is just not high enough resolution. Um, so maybe something like that. And if you want to make this black and white, oops, if you want to make this image black and white, you know, you can just do. Um, hue saturation and then do a control click or an option click or um, the alt click on the line between the saturation layer and your layer and then just take the um, saturation out of that layer. I'm doing this off to the right layer. Sorry, let me try that again. So we're going to go here, hue saturation, and then take down the saturation. Although we want it to just apply to the layer below, so we need to do an option click. And that will only apply to the image below it, not, not this one or this one. So we want to make that completely desaturated. Um, maybe we want to put another one on it of um, levels and just do an option click to just have it affect that layer you know maybe we want to make the contrast more so something to play around with hopefully this is helpful you know you'd want to do a file save as on this once you started it and you want to put this on your computer you'd want to put it in your documents in your 231 folder and you want to create a photoshop portrait project and name it with your first name. I'm going to put a three here because I already have two started, but and you want a PSD file. I'm going to go ahead and push save and okay. All right, we'll talk to you later, Amy. Hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you have issues.